A 43% reduction in emissions by 2030 was one of the big promises of the Albanese government. Now it's charting a course to achieve it, starting with measures targeting the biggest polluters. This is pro-climate, pro-industry, pro-competitiveness. The so-called safeguard mechanism targeting those big polluters was introduced by the coalition, but Labor has promised to toughen it up. We will require safeguard facilities to do their fair share. 28% of emissions come from safeguard facilities. We'll require 28% of emissions reduction to come from safeguard facilities. If Australia is working towards a 43% emissions reduction or better, then it would be great to see this sector uh, reducing by 43% as well. The reductions can come from investing in renewables, improvements in processes or better technology. But most companies offset their emissions with carbon credits. It's really important that companies are not able to just buy some offsets and keep polluting as usual in the safeguard mechanism. And that means that we need to cap the amount of carbon offsets that can be used. Support will be available for emissions intensive industries like cement and steel to make the transition. And there will be incentives to exceed the minimum reduction targets, with credits able to be sold on to companies going above the baseline limits. It will drive innovation. It is effectively a carbon trading scheme with permits allowed to be bought and sold, and that will allow for the most effective and efficient way to reduce emissions. The government says it wants to strike the right balance to keep industry in Australia. We don't want to see emissions going offshore. There's no point in, in, in shutting down something in Australia and it being produced elsewhere with the same or more emissions. Nobody benefits from that. The position paper will remain open for consultation until April, with the changes scheduled to come into effect by the beginning of July. Data Morse, ABC News, Canberra.